All right, guys, tonight we're going to talk about the Raven Endeavor. First of all, big thanks to Steve over at Raven Watches LLC. He sent this guy in for review. So um, I really appreciate that, Steve. And I got to tell you straight up, right off, uh, total spoiler alert, I absolutely love this watch. It's a great design and it wears great. And hopefully I'll be able to see some of your other models. But let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about is the size, of course. So we're looking at a 44 millimeter watch. And you can see the case has a little bit of concaving going on there. So it, the case at its widest point is 44 millimeter. The bezel is a touch wider at 45 millimeter. So you're going to get a you know half millimeter overhang on each side. That's pretty normal for a lot of watches, uh, dive watches, so you can get a good traction on the bezel. That's not a big deal. The lug to lug is 49.5 millimeter, and that's again that's totally fine because you have the bracelet where it can lay flat on the case back. So you got that articulation off that end link. So you know you're at a true lug to lug. You're not extending that at all. Um, you know what I didn't get is I did not get the thickness. So let's measure that real quick. So you try to measure this stuff and write it down before I do the video, but sometimes I forget. So we're looking at about a 14.6 thick. That's, uh, you know, all these proportions are a little bit on the larger side when we're talking dive watches for most guys. Um, but it is, in no means is it a an oversized watch. I think it is a, for a 500 meter rated watch, I think it's sized proportionally. Excuse me. So it does house the ETA 2824. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it's 22 millimeter lug width. So towards the end, I'm gonna to try to do a little bit of um, fashion show with different strap options. So hopefully I can pull that off. But 22 millimeter, the bracelet does not taper as far as I can tell. But again, with this bracelet being so flexible and you can see on the, the links here, they're all, they're all separate and they just kinda, of, you know, contour around pretty tight. So you can ball them up, you know what I mean? So it's going to wear great. The clasp, um, again, is a, a larger clasp, but that helps balance out the whole watch. So, and you can see the fit and finish on it is actually really tight. So you have the double pushers here for a release, and you got a little fancy uh, metal show going on there. And then for the dive extension, you got these two levers here, but you don't push them. You actually slide them forward, and that releases. You see what I'm saying? And then to push it back in, it'll ratchet in. You don't need to slide that. So what that looks like underneath here, if you guys follow me, you uh, slide those forward, and then you can just go ahead and pull that out, and then it'll just ratchet right back in. So let me give you a wrist shot here real quick on my 7.25-inch wrist. I've been wearing this thing all day. I actually did a little bit of work today. Um, it was super comfortable. Uh, I have an oversized work shirt, and you know it fit underneath my cuff fine, even though it is... What did I say? Like 14 something millimeter thick. Um, that is including the, uh, what do you want to call it? I think he calls it a raised flat chamfered crystal. So it's not like a box style. You can see it's actually got some chamfer to it, um, but it is raised up above the ceramic insert there, which I got to say, you guys, this is probably the most legible dive watch that I have seen. Um, so I'm going to try to zoom in here on the dial. I want to talk about that because, excuse the uh, lint and stuff or dust or whatever, but you can see those hands are like proportionately sized for this watch. And the applied indices are not like straight cut. It's hard to tell exactly, but they're kind of rounded over and it really adds a nice... Um, play with the light. It reflects really nice and it makes it super legible. And you can see that the the size of them and how much loom is in them it's going to be brilliant brilliant when we do a loom shot so i'll give you that towards the end as well and i also like how the second hand goes all the way out to the edge and you have the lollipop all the way out there too you have a nice screw down crown oh nice little trick too if you look closely see that raven logo that's actually an applied logo that's really sweet so you have a really nice screw down crown extremely solid feeling a very positive pop to it and i love the four o'clock positioning so um this is the 2824 so uh, um 
it's going to hack and hand wind. So there's your hack. And then here's the adjustment. I'll have to adjust it again. I'm going to wear this for a little while too. Um, so I'll have to reset the time. But you, I like the handset. Um, the crown, you know, when it's pulled out, the crown and stem does not move at all. This is a, a, a solid, well-built watch, which is what you'd fully expect at this price point. This is a $750 watch. So everything um, definitely feels like it's a $750 watch. No doubt about it. The case back is fairly simple. You have a really nice etched in um, Raven logo and then the 0074. I'm assuming it's serial numbered. Could be wrong. Um, Steve, the owner, if you get, if you watch this, chime in and let me know. Also, Steve uh, does a really cool thing. Before I forget this, uh, I, sub, I subscribe to him on YouTube. He actually has a YouTube channel, and he doesn't post super regular, but he does updates on his watches, his designs, his concept. Even like when he's um, going to different, like the wind-up events or it, whatever he's doing, he'll do like an update video. So he's super interactive um, with the YouTube um, community for the watch guys. Um, so he doesn't have a ton of subscribers. He's under 1,000 right now. But uh, definitely go check it out. He's, he's you know, a straight through and through watch guy. So he's got some uh, cool, interesting videos there. If you're interested in the micro brands or the Raven specifically. Um, he also, actually, the reason, let me back up here. The reason I got drawn into Raven was listening to the Two Broke, Two Broke Watch Snobs podcast. So if you guys listen to them, I'm sure you've already probably listened to the episode where um, Steve was actually on the show. So he's uh, heavily involved in the community, and I think that's really cool because there's a lot of micro brands out there that I've even tried to reach out to that are um, not accessible. So And then there's a ton of them that are. Um, I, like most of you guys, when you're buying micro brands, you like the the part of the allure towards the micro brand, obviously, is the, the quality you get at the prices, but also being slightly connected to the owner of the company. So having that relationship, even though it's not, you know, we're not going to be buddies, we're not going to hang out and stuff like that, but having them accessible like that is all, you know, all part of the allure to the micro brands. For me it is, and I'm assuming it is for you guys too. So you have the uh, drilled lug holes here, so that's going to make it really easy for me to uh, swap them all out. The bezel action on this, it seems like all the watches I've been getting lately, the, the bezel action is just absolute fidget spinner fun to play with. This is 120 click. I'm going to try to be, I'm not going to talk over this. I just want to flip this thing around for you guys, okay? It's superb, absolutely superb. There's no movement on it. There's no play or anything like that. It, it feels the nice feel to it, just like you would hope. And it just lines up perfect. This watch is so visible. It is so easy to read. Like when you're wearing a watch, you want it to be super easy to read. I have watches that are maybe a little more difficult to read. This one, at a simple glance or even peripheral vision, you're going to be able to figure out what time it is like instantly. So, And then he does have a, a date model too, and I think that uh, I'll have to double check. I forget where he puts the date. I, I, it might be at the 6 o'clock. I can't remember. So, But it doesn't upset the balance of the, the dial, whatever it is. So very cool watch. Uh, big thanks again, Steve, for sending this in. Um, I can... I can show you it next to a big watch. If you guys want to see it next to a big watch, there it is next to a big watch. <laughs> the Ecozilla. Now that's a big watch, guys. Um, I feel like this watch is very similar to like maybe like an Oris Aquas. Um, it has even kind of uh, some design cues that I feel like are similar, but you don't have the integrated bracelet with the lugs here. So now you can play around with some different strap options. If you, I'm a bracelet guy, so I, I, I'm totally down with this bracelet. But, you know, if you wanted to throw it on a, a NATO or a rubber strap or, um, you know, like a Erica's Original or the Watch Steward or something like that, you could do that. So um, I, I'll do that here in a second. So let me do you a, a loom shot because this does have a heavy application of Superluminova. So you can see how bright it is. It is well done. It is a very nice cool blue. You can see the monster glowing off into the background off to the left over there. Um, and it is, 
it's right up there with it. I mean, Steve really loaded this thing up with Loom. So it is amazing application. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. You can tune out now if you've watched this long, or you can stick around, and I'm going to add another minute or so of just strap options. Here it is on an Armilla NATO strap. These are high-quality, full-length NATO. If you guys like your NATOs to be full-length, this is an excellent brand here. So there it is on that really cool one. Here is the Raven on the Forbidden Diver Watch on the leather strap. This is a cheap uh, Best Buy leather strap, if you guys remember that like ordeal a little while ago. And here it is on the Watch Steward strap. Now, I have another, like, quote, larger watch that I wear on the Watch Steward strap. And for the larger style watches, um, I think this strap option works the best, in my opinion. Um, it, typically, obviously, I like the bracelets, but um, this style of strap, the way it's done, where it doesn't add any thickness to the watch case or anything like that, but it gives you that really super comfortable uh, flex feel to it, and it's a light fabric, um, I think it works really well. So, and there's a bunch of different color options and everything like that. So, I'll put a link in the description to the NATO, to the to the watch steward, to Raven, um, to Steve's YouTube channel, all of that stuff I'll put down in the description. Appreciate you guys watching. I know I went really long on this, but um, big thanks for everybody watching. So, this is a really cool watch. I'll see you soon on the next vid.